Hello and welcome to the LEGO Bootleg review of Mini Street from Hazai. Hazai? Hazai. Hung Samo. So yeah, Hazai is the person that's right. And uh, so there are six boxes in this set currently, and they are all minifigure scale. So we have uh, set 64091 and 2. So we have uh, what's supposed to be Dunkin' Donuts and what looks like an Apple store. On the side, you have a picture of the minifigure that you get in it. Uh, 10-1 and 11-1 uh, is uh, Starbucks and KFC. They call it KFE and uh, Kentucky Fried. What, what would E stand for? Kentucky Fried Elephants? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, corner Coffee. And uh, at back, we also have 7-Eleven uh, and McDonald's for 10-2 and 11-2. And uh, McDonald's just goes fast food restaurant. Makes sense. And 7 is just 7. There's no name on it. Even though I'm pretty sure the logo looks identical, that 7-Eleven logo. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how they're gonna get away with copyright stuff. Oh wait, it's China. There's no such thing as copyright in China. There's only there's only such a thing as do not insult your country law in China. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, on the side of one side of the box shows you uh, one of the figures that you get inside the uh, staff figure for all of these stores. Oh, and they all say hi. And on this side says, hey, you got another brick separator over each box. Bloody hell, because we don't get enough of those from Lego anyway. And on the back of the boxes, all of them show... Show these. Uh, the... <clears throat> all six streets plugged together. And just like the modular buildings from Lego, each building has a little hole on the side where you have a Technic piece to connect the buildings together. They all use a standard plate thickness for the base. So, do not consider plugging these with your uh, modular stuff unless your modular stuff. Uh, unless you don't use the big base plate, you use a normal like Lego plate instead. So, And uh, a lot of spare pieces in these boxes. Let me just pick up the box that has the spare pieces. Yeah. Just this hat. Well, spare hands, spare minifigure hands, spare studs, spare plates, uh, spare everything to be honest. Um, sometimes I just have to build it. I'm thinking, did I misbuild something? Why is there another chair? Why is there another stud and whatever? So you got all that going on. So in terms of pieces, I'm pretty confident that you shouldn't get a box of these that's missing a piece because they always come with like a lot of extras. Uh, it also includes extra stickers. I can see um, one of these McDonald's stickers is, is uh, extra. One of them is not. Um, you see, none of these minifigures actually have logo stuff printed on the figures. For example, the McDonald's staff hat is just a red hat, so you have to stick one of these stickers onto the hat to make it a McDonald's staff hat. And here we have an extra um, cash register counter machine thing, which does not fit on any of the pieces. So, And a KFE sticker, we had extra sticker for sweet shop. So Dunkin' Donut, you can make another box with other parts if you have that. And some staff stickers for the uh, <coughs> Starbucks, not for the not Starbucks. And uh, stickers quality are okay-ish. They do feel cheap. Um, sometimes the cut is not correct. For example, one of the small cash registers, you can see right here, a bit of the image is cut off because it wasn't cut properly. So when I peeled the sticker off, it didn't left a bit left behind. And uh, you'll see momentarily later with the 7-Eleven one, the logo is completely ripped because uh, the sticker wasn't cut properly, so when I was pulling it off, it just ripped. Um, and the stickers, they're not... The reason why I haven't stuck any of these hat ones on, because after I tried the first one, they do not want to stick on the round surface of the hat. And the other ones, the print quality, you can see here, the yellow of the backing card is shining through the white, so they, they didn't use enough paint for the stickers for it to look uh, decent enough. As for the instructions, well, each one comes with a single sort of A3 size sheet of instruction. The instructions are quite easy to follow, uh, especially once you've built one of them uh, or two of them, you start to notice the pattern that they use. Uh, there, there are many similar patterns in each design of each building, so that's good. Uh, all the buildings use a you know, regular thickness base plate for the bottom, and so if you're considering putting these with your, your modular buildings, then you probably can't. And uh, so, yeah. But they, they all, just like modular, modular buildings, have that little Technic pin that they use on the, on the corner of the shop that they use to connect all these shops together so you can build a nice little street. And um, the bricks do feel okay. They, they're not great. 
but uh, they feel like early day Mega Bloks figures, uh, toys. So if you're okay with early day Mega Block stuff, then you should be okay with these. Once the buildings are put together, they do stay pretty well. Uh, they don't fall apart or anything, so that's good. So even, even though the building process is a little bit squishy, uh, a little bit picky when building, uh, a little bit annoying at times, but once it's done, it's done. It doesn't fall apart. So yeah, we have uh, KFE and McDonald's here. You can see that the color is not quite right. And um, much like early day Mega Blocks, they have stickers that span across different pieces. So if you decide to take this apart, you're gonna have a bit of an issue. You will most likely destroy the stickers up there since um, how fragile they are I like this little touch there where the um, the, 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 the fire extinguishing the, you know the water uh, what do you call that the fountain water fountain thing that Feynman uses in the color of, uh, of McDonald's uh, so yeah all of these uh, follow the same size base plate and you have uh, all of them have most of them have a single door with two the two window pieces one of these only has one one window piece and very similar structure. All of them have bits of plants on the side, so we plug them together, then they'll fit together very nicely. And um, the thing about these is, if you remove the stickers altogether, uh, it will still look like the thing that it's trying to copy. So inside here, I've stuck some stickers in there. Just see the inside of the McDonald's one. I see you built your own little like grill and fryer and um, got like some sticker sheet there for the counter and yeah it looks pretty good and same with the KFC one you got the grill and the fryer thing going on and uh, I didn't bother the uh, counter sticker of this one so the shops look pretty good uh, let me just put them to the side there so next up we have the uh, two stores so we got this Apple store here whoop, with something flying around inside. Oopsies, come on, come out, there we go. So the Apple store actually has an extra piece there, got like a little, uh, this one, two by four brick is actually an extra piece out of nowhere. So I decided just to plug this um, this little advert board that you have that the staff used to say, hey, a uh, new product, definitely not an iPhone. <laughs> so you got like Apple sticker there and stuff and the shop looks Apple-y enough. I look at the back there, they actually have uh, some nicely built shelf and I like these that you can just, if you want to take something off, you unplug the entire shelf, take the piece you want and then you can plug the shelf back on there. And then, you know, the customer will have the whatever new phone or whatever that they need. And uh, the details on the inside are also pretty good. So this is a very nice looking shop. And oh, by the way, all of them on the top there have, um, you have the edge built around, but they still have studs at the top for figures to stand there if they need to. Uh, same with all the other shops. So the 7-Eleven here, oh, look at the top in the moment, you can see that the logo is cracked open because the sticker didn't rip, completely ripped, so oh well. A little mailbox thing down there. And uh, this shop is actually really cool because inside there you can see everything, just like the official Lego Quickie Mart, everything inside there has been built. All the shelves and stacks and stuff. Uh, the downside of this is uh, you cannot pull things out without assembling the entire shelf because it's plugged in. So that sucks. Um, yeah, bottles and stuff everywhere and uh, looks pretty good inside. And if you look at the top here, you have the 7-Eleven logo billabot thing that's supposed to rotate and spin in real life, I guess. But these 7-Eleven uh, stickers are a bit too big, so I wrapped them around the edge there. Um, one of them did peel off. I built this last night and it's peeled off now. So it stays on pretty well for the most part. I'm gonna move this in a little bit. Doesn't get in the way. So, but a pretty decent looking 7-Eleven store. Pretty good. Okay, and the last two we have, uh, you know, I guess eateries, like, like snack places. So not Starbucks and not Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts are one very pink and cute. Got the logo sticker going on there. And once again, you have uh, the big logo on both of these are uh, attached to multiple pieces. So it's going to be a pain to disassemble this if you need to. And inside here, the, the way that they've done the uh, donut boxes is uh, you have standard colored studs with uh, a transparent piece on top. So it looks pretty good. And you have a counter here with uh, one small box of donuts. So that's something. That's pretty cool. Oh, did I just break? Oh, yeah, the uh, Apple display thing. And uh, finally, we have the Starbucks one right here. 
you can see you can put some chairs on top there and people eating if you want to uh, seats on both sides and seats on the inside and a lot of um, extra bottles that you can use to attach uh, Starbucks logos onto them so have a little coffee machine on the back the overall detail is pretty good I'm wondering if who um, I think I've seen designs of these online so I'm thinking that they copied someone but I'm not sure who so first six guys here have the Starbucks purse they got the Starbucks staff and the customer the McDonald's one and the customer and the KFC one and the customer and you see here that um, I did put the stick a little bit higher when I first tried it and it's still not sticking too well uh, st they're sticking okay on the bottles like these little cups there on the tray which um, look pretty authentic and uh, because it's so small you can't see the word corner coffee so it just looks like Starbucks bottle so that's good uh, woman's just an egg woman none of them have back faces um, McDonald's guy had didn't stick his logo on because no point and we've seen this design before based on actual Lego design um, actually all the customers are based on regular Lego minifigures from the city line and got the KFC guy there and um, they do have back printing so that's neat here are the figures to the other three sets. The uh, Dunkin' Donuts one is probably the, the closest one that's actually printed to look like the staff member of that shop. Whereas all these other ones are very generic. Hello, not Marge Body. And on the back they all have, uh, well, a lot of them have back prints as well, so that's something. Now, about recommending these, I see no reason why you couldn't just go out there and build your own. Here's the thing, getting these sets is just purely down to convenience. Like, because you have all the pieces you need to build these colors and these pieces right in the same box. But since nothing is actually detailed or printed to look like what they're supposed to be, everything is done by stickers, even the minifigures. There's, there's nothing really worth here, apart from that convenience. And, um... Since nothing is printed and everything is just stickers, you can probably go out there and use um, just a little bit more cash to just go on Bricklink or eBay and just source all the parts you need or you know pick a brick, pick a brick, pick a brick place to get all the pieces you need to build the um, these little miniature stores right here. The price of these are they're not expensive because it is bootleg, but it's pretty cheap for what they are. And um, but I don't think it's that bigger difference you just go out there when there's like a discount or something just get a big box of Lego and build your own shops as for stickers you can always easily print those out with like A4 sticker sheets or you know just draw your own maybe um, and uh, the good thing about these designs is even if you don't apply the stickers they're still very obvious as to what they are the, 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 the reason to get these sets are very very minimal the pieces, they're okay, but they're not great. As for the figures, they're loose-ish joints, and um, they play well okay, but they, they feel like any other non-brand bootleg stuff um, that we've seen before in other city folk. They're not, they're not great, but they're not terrible either. The print on all the figures, they're decent enough, but it's mostly the articulation that feels a little bit too tight, a little bit too loose. So the clutch on all the figures are a little bit all over the place, but I am very thankful that uh, at least that the bricks the main focus of these are all, all have decent enough clutch and you see they all staying well very nicely together like look I'm just holding this it doesn't fall apart la 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 I'm gonna drop it now boom oh okay that fell apart but um, hey look that actually fell apart in a pretty decent way now it's opened up hooray <laughs> so yeah these these do feel well pretty together as for the uh, I feel inclined to say health and safety issue these do my, my hands do feel like sticky or slimy after building these so there is a layer of um, plastic oil uh, from the molding process so if you do give these to kids I do recommend chucking these into a you know a bucket of warm soap water before giving it to them because yeah, you, it should be fine on the skin but you don't really want them to put pieces in their mouths uh, when there's a tiny layer of uh, plastic oil going on so do be mindful of that hmm. As always, if you found this video useful or you liked it, click the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment below on how you feel about these miniature stores. If you hate it, you can press the dislike button. Whatever. Uh, you can also support this channel by heading over to Patreon. I also do animation on the Digger 318 channel, so you'll be supporting that as well. And uh, you don't have to do any of that. As always, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.